In the treatment of uh, elderly myeloma, I believe there are a couple of important uh, drugs. Uh, one are the imids, uh, thalidomide and lenalidomide, and the other is uh, the protom are the protom protosome inhibitors, bortezomib, and now the new generation, carfixomib and ixaxomib. So I think these are the two major drugs that, has, uh, that we are using in the myeloma treatment. When we started treatment with bortezomib, uh, the length of treatment that is suggesting is around nine months. And uh, eventually, after this induction of salvage that should be around nine months, you can probably follow with a maintenance approach. And at that point, the treatment should be for two years or until progression. For an efficient therapy, certainly the achievement of complete response uh, uh, is one of the major end, end points, and from this point of view, a longer uh, treatment approach might increase the frequency and the probability of a complete response. With the subcutaneous use of bortezomib, we certainly improve the tolerability of the drug with a reduced uh, frequency of uh, peripheral neuropathy and uh, my personal recommendation is certainly to move uh, from the IV to the sub -Q injection that has an equal efficacy and certainly a better tolerability. In, in case we are treating uh, a patient and uh, disease-free interval is six months uh, uh, this is uh, considered a short uh, free interval and uh, at that point uh, the suggestion is to change uh, the drug. On the other hand, if the free interval is around one year, in this case uh, the re-challenge with the same drug is advisable. Uh, my take take home message today is uh, certainly uh, to use uh, a treatment in elderly patient that is feasible is not creating too many, many toxicity and from this point of view the sub q is certainly a good option that might increase the cr rate and probably a prolonged treatment uh, is uh, suggested uh, to also uh, prolong the remission duration.